may I uh, move highways and streets to final review consideration of one and a half million dollars plus five hundred sixty seven dollars okay that's the 27 2017 board of selectmen column Yes. Regular wages, part-time wages, reimbursed maintenance, labor, career incentives, etc. Talk to us, Chris. I should give it to Teresa because the one line, the second line down, um, part-time wages has had an increase of. 50%. Do you want a second on that motion? I'm sorry. Sure. Let's get a second. I apologize, Mr. LeBranch second is it. seconding Barbara. Thank you. <clears throat> now, okay. Make sure you're talking a little louder, Chris, so people can hear you. All right. Go ahead. So you said second line down on the part-time wages? Yes. Had a jump. Mm-hmm. That was the, no, the part-time yeah. wages, yeah. Um, there was an increase of the, the um, hourly rate by 1.25%, and we also moved 5000 into this account from the engineering account because we were paying wages in the engineering account. Okay. And... Um, the town manager and the finance director thought it would be more appropriate to pay wages out of a wage account. So we moved 5000 in to here, but we moved it out of the engineering, so it's kind of a wash. But the other portion of that um, is <clears throat> attributed to a 1.25% increase in, uh, well, yeah, 1.25% increase in the, in the part-time wages. Okay. Um, what happened to, to the reimbursed maintenance labor line? Why was that removed? We didn't have anything in that account for 2016. Oh, okay. Okay. So it was a credit or something in 713. All righty. Anything else that we should get excited about on that? Ah, gasoline and diesel. Now, it doesn't give a specific cost here. Do you, do you have that, Christy? Because we've got... 6350 and 6360 gasoline and diesel fuel. Are you comfortable with? We're, I'm almost complete with that analysis on gasoline and diesel, and I believe that we're going to come back and change. So we can leave this till the final review. It does have an ounce on it, though. If you look at the detail, it has $1.95, just like it does in the rest of the Well, in the back, but it doesn't show it on the front page, and I'm okay. trying to juggle pages here. Okay, so we will get back to that because I almost had a heart attack when well, I looked at the gas. Can I just have? Go ahead, Brian. Christy, is everything gasoline at a dollar ninety-five? Is that what you so did for up. everything? As it was last year. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? <coughs> Are you ready to move on? I would like to go back because you're jumping all over the place. <coughs> well. I, I'd like to go to detail wages and have uh, have that explained to me how we uh, have a. Uh, actual spending of fifty four eighty, and we want to jump it up to twenty thousand dollars. Detail wages is police department wages. Uh, when I have a paving contract, we used to get some dynamic fluctuations in what people would use for uh, hourly rates in number of hours, even. Um, so well over a year ago it's probably been the second full year we just pay police detail wages we do an interdepartment transfer so i pay for them for uh, when toby's crews are let's say clearing catch basins in the middle of the road <coughs> or a sewer, a sewer manhole in the middle of the road videotaping or jetting we pay i pay for those wages i pay for them for if i need a if I'm having a dangerous tree removed and I need a detail around that, I pay for that. Same thing with paving and any other construction. It just made it much, much simpler. So it is a, uh, it's the same 20K that was in there last year. It's just that as of when this was put together, it's at 5480. Yeah, because it's, it's uh, 5480 at the end of September. If you run that out for a year, that's definitely not $20,000. That's for sure. It's probably somewhere uh, around eight or nine somewhere in that range <clears throat> but understand if uh, what could happen is this uh, three years ago we paved exeter road from yeah. timber swamp to the exeter town line mm -hmm. yep. the police details alone were sixteen thousand dollars for that one for that 
half three hundred thousand dollar paving job. Mm -hmm. I've got on the books plans for close to six hundred thousand dollars of paving in, in in road reconstruction in um, twenty seventeen. Plus, I pro will probably have to pay for the details along 101 while we're putting in the new course main or Lafayette Road while we replace that sewer line mm -hmm. or traffic control if I have to do a work over at the Bicentennial Seawall would all come out of that account. Okay, so, any further questions before we take the vote? Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead, Mike, continue. No, I have oh. another one. Uh, One more. I'm looking at vehicle maintenance, which is a little further down. You've got actuals at 53, 126, and admin seem to be feeling generous in giving you 21, uh, 91, 025. That's significantly over. Well, keep in mind, Mike, that that number, 53, 126, is about two months old. I understand that, but that's nine months out of 12, and the last quarter usually isn't that expensive to run the town. It's lesser than it is in the summer, so. Well, they do the inspections in September, and those numbers probably, those numbers for repairs don't show up yet. Right. So you're saying that the September 9.30 isn't correct then? Well, that's what it was, 9.30, but it's now almost 11.30. Two months have gone by with repairs and inspections and so how much how much is it now? Well, I can look at uh, the end of October and just a minute. I left that I did that today and I left it on my desk. Yeah. I'm and the actual for fifteen was ninety three thousand eighty five. I see that, yeah. Okay. What did okay. you have as of October, Christy? She yeah, okay. Regina's looking it up. Right. Is that is that all you have, Mike? Do Chris, I have do I have, have more? Yeah. I don't I have October with you. Today, know. as of October, it's sixty four eight twenty one. Yeah, as of October, yeah. And I've got a six thousand dollar engine repair sitting out there, so it'll easily it's going over seventy or eighty thousand. Okay, that helps out a, that, that helps explain that one. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear the eighty part though. Well <laughs> if you saw what's one of the uh, we have three sidewalk plows. One of them's on a frame right now with no wheels on it as we're ordering the front axle. I know that's an $8,000 purchase order that I signed. Uh, the EGR on 92, which is in the shop right now, is a $6,000 purchase order. Um, offhand, I can't remember the others. But my point is, it's going on. If we get into a heavy December and I <laughs> snap some... Oh, yeah, I, I understand the need to flexibility in that line generally anyway. Yeah. It's going to happen. Christy, did your Acoma number include uh, uh, outstanding purchase orders? What? Did it include outstanding purchase orders? The 64000 no, Yeah. I think it was still 11000 in open POs, according to the report last night. Mm. I thought I heard it say last night it included, it, it included open purchase orders, right? Okay. You, when you look at the total for the department, but it's not included in that 64000 Okay, thank you. Okay. you might continue. I'll show you another one, if you don't mind. Uh, I noticed you were talking about the federal storm water requirements last night at the Board of Selectmen or some meeting recently, mm -hmm. and I got the impression it's sort of money in case something comes along type <laughs> approach. It's not anything that we have to do right this minute. It's something that may come down the road, maybe. Is that the way I, did I interpret that correctly? I know I've sat here for the previous four years and told you it was coming. Uh, the line or the message that's been sent forward is that it would get released between the election and the inauguration so that everybody was fully focused on something else. So <laughs> whether it gets released this month or next month or in February, I will have six months to implement some of the aspects of it and nine months for other aspects. And it will take a large chunk of this this money. So um, is, is this yeah. a, is this a uh, statute or is this uh, one of the dictates that have been passed down from the president? Uh, <laughs> a federal, well, the federal stormwater requirement is, a, is something that was passed by Congress and Senate. Mm -hmm. enacted by the EPA Region 1 office 
So that rulemaking authority rests with them, and that's where it's coming from. Okay, so it comes from them rather than just something that's passed down. I follow you. Okay, that's all I have. All set? Okay. I have, that's all I have. We started in 2008 to make a requirement. We sent them over 1,000 pages of questions. Oh, my God. It took them four years to answer the 1,000 pages of questions. You mean they started talking about making a requirement? They still haven't made a requirement, right? They released it as a draft last year in Massachusetts and made Massachusetts the first state within EPA Division One, and then they'll release it to Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont together as a package. Mm -hmm. But it's still not a requirement. Not until they release it. Yeah. Further questions, Mr. Yes. Jones, you were next, and then I have Mr. Kravitz. <coughs> I got a basic wait, question. Wait one second. Let him, let him go ahead. He's on a roll. Let oh, go. okay. Go ahead. All right, I've got a basic question. You know, picking up trash and moving it is a Herculean task. You know, what do other towns do? It, would it make sense to not administration? You know, to sign a contract that, with That'll somebody? be one of the questions I have to answer in the solid waste study. Is at what point, cost-wise, do we yeah. look up? Re going to outside you could break it out. Yeah. We have some of the older information, and I, you know, I, I can gather Rochester's information and Dover's information, and let's say even Nashua, and I could probably tell you per ton what it literally costs. That will be part of the analysis. Okay. All right, Tim. Chris, as you know, this federal stormwater line item is my favorite topic every year, isn't yep. it? Yeah. Um, and I noticed that every year I've been here, this is my fourth go around. You've been talking about it, we've been talking about it for four years. Yeah. And I keep saying, but it's not a requirement. Why are we budgeting for it? Because we have some bureaucrat somewhere saying it's going to be, it's going to be. Right. Well, for four years we've been funding it under the basis that this bureaucrat's going to keep saying it's going to be, it's going to be. You After did, four years, it still more. ain't. Mm -hmm. Yet we've been funding this money year after year after year after year. Right. Did people use that money for different reasons then? Well, basically it goes unused. I'm about to ask questions along those lines right now. Because you did spend under this line... Um, 57.63. Thank you, Michael Pierre. 57.63. Uh, what was that spent for? Signs. If there was no requirement... Signs. Then, signs. 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 Everywhere signs. Okay. We have 100... We've mapped out 160 outfalls. Uh -huh. We're mentally getting prepared for this permit. Okay. To quantify what its impact would be to Hampton, we've literally gone okay. out and counted all the... So would it be fair that, to say that the 56, the 5763 was spent in preparation work to meet, right. for when the bureaucracy actually says we want you to do it after more than four years of saying, we're going to tell you, but we haven't posts, told you yet. Posts and signs. Right. Okay, so... We've been taxing the taxpayers for more than four years on something that isn't a requirement and something that we're not doing, mm -hmm. other than maybe some prep work. Uh, don't you think taxpayers need a break on this line item? Since we've already taxed them four, five times, six times <laughs> well, for this. Honestly, other last than year, five thousand dollars, we haven't spent the money. If anything, it's gone into the town's savings account, the unfunded. Yeah, account. exactly. But the bottom line is the people's, the taxpayers have had it removed from their pockets. And they probably got a portion of it back when the selectmen gave a certain portion of the unfunded. Yeah, they took away $10 and they gave me back 10 cents. I got a portion back, there's no okay. doubt about it. But the bottom line is we're taking the money from the taxpayers for purposes that are not required of us under a line item that says federal stormwater requirements, which of course is not a requirement still, right? I've said my piece. Today, okay. Are so we I right? would I would like to note that last year you had reallocated ten thousand dollars in this line, and now you're jumping to fifty thousand. Does this reflect, you know, some sort of greater confidence that's going to happen this year versus your confidence level last year? Yes. Okay. And how can that be when we have a new administration coming in, who has promised, especially in the EPA area, to uh, remove regulations? In fact, he's actually put out a policy statement already saying, uh, for every new regulation, we're going to remove two. Oh, and he has called EPA specifically 
as being overreaching in their regulatory activities. Why would that cause you to have increased confidence that this regulation is going to be forthwith? I'm an engineer. It's good engineering. <laughs> there you go. Why'd you vote for him? Good question. Okay. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> My vote was not expressed, and nor will it be. The ballot is a, a, a sector sank. You can ask any pollster that calls me. Okay. I know we're ready for the vote. Nobody's Ladies business how I voted. We're going to do total I would like. I would like to, to wonder whether or not we could not reduce this line item down to like we did the, the same with the lifeguards. Year after year, we funded the lifeguards. We couldn't find any lifeguards. All right. And if you recall, a couple a couple meetings ago, we decided to reduce that line item because we weren't spending the money on that for good reason because we couldn't get any. And now we're not spending money on this line item for good reason because we're not required to yet. Well, it, it has, been it has had a positive effect so yeah. far in in so far as the outfalls have been identified. I believe I heard Fred say that. Yeah. As right. to dog waste being inappropriately disposed of mm -hmm. in all these culverts and so forth, which adds to contamination in the area around, which adds to contamination in the water that goes out of it. And the more clean water we can have as a community, the better off we are. So Madam Chair, I'm happy if, if the some. DPW department is actually going to test the waters because it makes good ecological sense to do so. But not under the pretense that we're being required to by the feds year after year after year. Let's actually test it. Don't we have any clue what what we want to test there? They inspect. They've been inspected, the outfalls. But it takes time, right, Chris? Well, and... Um, he, Citizen Jones does make a good point. Are we actually testing? And this year you can see that we've spent 57.63 out of the line. We are testing, and I'm not sure, I think it's weekly, if not bi-weekly, the, because of the force main break that occurred in February, we have an agreement with Chris Nash from the Shellfish Division. Mm -hmm. DES that we will test Tide Mill Creek and other locations on a bi-weekly basis. So we've some of that 5763 that we spent this year, I know at least 2500 of it was for lab testing supplies. What were the results? We find on average 14 is the E. coli limit that you can technically have or that's what our discharge permit says. We we get ones, twos, threes. We'll get a seven. Mm -hmm. We had one that was a 68. Mm -hmm. We found a dead seagull 100 feet up the beach. Uh, <laughs> something like that will trip it. Poor yeah. seagull. Uh, but that's been the only flyer, if yeah. you will, that we've had. Yeah. But it's a way of monitoring, and this is that is the kind of monitoring that will need to go on regularly and frequently under this federal permit. So. Right. In anticipation of it was like an exercise. Yeah, okay, we'll do it. My my, my assumption, and you can tell me if my paradigm is needs adjusting here. But my paradigm is the EPA is going to have you test all kinds of stuff, and, and probably a good portion of that stuff you probably really don't need to test. And, and there, there is a good portion of stuff that you really should test, and you know a good portion of that good portion that should be tested, I suspect. And we ought to just start testing it. Okay. All right, and if that's the case, I'm just saying, well, let's change the name of that line item and get rid of that offensive federal requirement garbage, and let's talk about the real dollars you need to do the real testing that makes for good uh, public health sense for the Hampton. So do you have anything you can speak on that? No. Good. I'm not just, just mentally not prepared at the moment. Okay. Is that, is that like a big deal to, 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 to I mean, no, I understand that you're not prepared now, but I mean, because that's something you could answer, say, in a month or so? Yeah, definitely. Okay, great. I'll, I, I would look forward to okay. having a conversation with you on that. I'll task the man sitting behind me and his cohort from the wastewater plant. To and well, I'm sure you'll tell him how to get a hold of me, right? Oh. And Mr. <laughs> Mr. Nash is involved because we still have to see the clam flats contaminate. Correct. Right. Uh, Brian? Um, on the building maintenance, you had a $32,000 encumbrance this year. You have one open PO for 16. Um, we did the rest of it. on 
6300. Yeah, thank you. I We have replaced, I know a big portion of it was, um, you're asking where the 38 went to? Right. Um, garage doors. Um, the whole front side of that garage maintenance building is uh, in need of work. Yeah. I had the garage doors replaced to keep the some of the heat in. Uh, we hired a, I believe the name, Carlisle Construction. Mm -hmm. They replaced roof panels on the whole garage where we were leaking down through. They replaced the roof area over my office because that was leaking. And I got new panels on the marsh side of my office. Um, we're pl very pleased with their work and how cost effective it was versus other people we talked to. Um, we're probably going to continue around the building. The door trims uh, going in and out of the garages are all banged up, twisted. Mm -hmm. uh, they let in a lot of cold air. Uh, so that was the intent is to keep going on that. The lift? Oh, yeah. Well, part of it. Part of it. Right. Part of it was the lift. Thank you for reminding me. We had a uh, lift that was rated at 9,000 pounds. We were putting 13,000 pound vehicles on. No. Saw as a safety issue, so we had it removed and replaced with a 16,000 pound lift. Mm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Out. Good. Okay, everybody comfortable okay. with the bottom line figure that Mr. Like Jones, Jones has proposed? Do. Are you done? I'm done with this section. Oh. Right. Thank you. I would like to follow up if I could, please. Okay. Uh, the uh, detail wages that uh, Mr. Pierce brought up earlier, he referred to as police detail. Um, Am I correct in assuming that means it's it's basically traffic control, right? Correct. Okay. And am I also understanding correctly that in the state of New Hampshire, um, flagmen are acceptable by law, although they may not be desirable by a matter of other reasons, but <coughs> legally speaking, all we're required to do is put flagmen there, right? Not necessarily police. Is that accurate? Mr. Henderson, perhaps. Yeah. Jump in, Fred, if you want. I don't believe that's accurate with the uh, town ordinance that was passed a few years ago by the uh, selectmen signed off on it. And there's several ordinances that were actually right. where only police officers could be. Henderson referring to is this, if you pull out a trench permit, you're required to have a police detail with on a trench permit. This was by, so by state law, I am correct, but by town ordinance, uh, it, it, which overrides that, uh, it requires police. Correct. And that town ordinance was passed by the selectmen? Yeah. No, it was not town meeting, but by selectmen. Was it in the last six or eight years ago? Uh, no, six years ago. Six years ago. Uh, was it a warrant article, Fred, or just selectmen uh, policy? The town meeting cannot pass those ordinances. Only the selectmen can by statute. Okay, we are ready. I'm Thank sure. Thank you, Madam Chair. I am ready. You're One million right. five hundred thousand five sixty-seven dollars on highways and streets administration in favor. Yeah. Okay, everyone but Mr. Pierce? Okay, you are not in favor. The rest. No, oh, it's two of us. Oh, I'm sorry, Brian. You are not in favor either? And the uh, gentleman. Oh. Not in favor. Mr. Morrow. Okay. Madam Chair.